Hi, I'm Brittany Montez, and this is the Orlando Health News Review for March 20th. You may have already noticed that Orlando Health is transitioning to a new linen vendor, Crown Laundry. The transition will take place in a phased approach by site and is expected to be completed by the end of April. For physicians and other medical professionals utilizing the green scrubs currently provided by the existing vendor, please ensure that you return them no later than April 30th. With our new vendor change, we have different sizes now associated with the different color strings. So that is a big factor because so many team members are used to wearing the tan or the green and they now may be a blue or a yellow. It's also really important that we get the scrubs back that they may have left at home. We're gonna launder and bring back. They don't have to be clean. They just need to be returned at any time in any amount of numbers. It can be in bulk or it can be in singles. We do have a cost associated with that, so it not only saves us money, but it might help us to use that money more wisely in other areas of need for our patients or our team members. And make plans now to join David Strong and Dr. Jamal Hakeem at the next series of team member forums, April 15th through the 18th. David and Dr. Hakeem will be sharing need-to-know information about our 2019 performance goals results as well as updates on Ellie and our strategic imperatives. And it was an exciting week at the Arnold Palmer Invitational, including the 7th Annual Arnie's March Against Children's Cancer. The event raises funds for pediatric cancer research and clinical trials at the Haley Center for Children's Cancer and Blood Disorders at Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital. And it's tea time for tiny babies too at Orlando Health Winnie Palmer Hospital. In conjunction with the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill last week, future golfers at Winnie Palmer Hospital received a special tournament onesie. The tournament donated these branded onesies for babies born last week, enough for the hospital's average 40 births a day. And would you like to share suggestions and make recommendations on new programs and initiatives affecting team members? Apply to join the Team Member Advisory Council. Team members working in non-management positions, both clinical and non-clinical, from throughout the organization are invited to apply. Visit SWIFT to learn more. And for this week's Hot Fact, did you know that Army's March had a goal of raising $200,000 for pediatric cancer research and clinical trials at Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital? The March not only met that goal, but exceeded it. Well, that's it for today's edition of the Orlando Health News Review. Thank you for making Orlando Health the best hospital possible. See you next week.